want to close in on him a little bit. Looks like he's not running with a turret gunner, which means this fight's over already. Watch out for the missiles there. So here we got ourselves engaging an anvil arrow. And again, right, like I was talking about, we want to manage our distance when it comes to... When we're in a larger vessel, engaging a smaller vessel, it all comes down to distance control. So I'm going to try and actually juke this missile without actually having to flare it off. Yeah, there it goes. Not wasting any flares. So another one, so we're just going to J-hook that around a little bit. Another one down. Keep our speed up here. We dropped another one. Constellation firing missiles, I guess. I'm in a Banu Defender. So I'm not sure where that arrow went. That's interesting. Does the Connie want to battle? It seems like we've got a Constellation and a Vanguard. Let's see if the Vanguard. Oh, there's the arrow. Here we go. So we want to pre-turn our nose onto them. Use our bottom thrusters to pull around. Right, see, keep the little vector indicator kind of centered on him as we bring our nose around. So, IR missile, don't have to worry about that. Always look, look, look at your missile and just kind of create a 90 degree offset from the missile. So another one here. So the missile's coming towards me. Can dodge that one, but eh, it's a small missile anyway. I guess we'll flare the next one off. Fine. Got to use a lot of flares on the Vanguard to get. Uh... Okay, so let's think about this. So he wants to play range. That's cool. We can play range. Thing is, I can pre-turn on him, get my speed up, and get the slot. There's one pass. All right, so just like last time, right? He's gonna probably fire a missile on me. That's fine. Just flare it off. Again, okay, right? Place my bottom front. Oh, apparently that hit. Interesting. Okay, let's set our flare counts to six now. Okay, so we want to close up. Use our bottom thrusters. Are great. The little indicator at the bottom of the screen here. Use a boost right now. Push, 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 push. We want to go up, strafe up into the roll. Got him right where I want him. So if he's behind us like this, we, we want to resist the urge to back strafe. We want to keep our turn going, use our up strafe, keep our, keep our guns on target as we walk through. Boost right now. Boost, boost, boost really hard. Boost, boost. Keep tracking, keep tracking. Still up strafe. And now I'm relaxing on the up strafe. I'm now strafing to the left a little bit. Got to keep my guns charged. Now up strafe again. Drop some flares to get rid of that. Again, right, we've got our distance. There's the first kill. I think that is a... What else is on me here? Something else is going to be targeted. It might, it might be cloaked now. So we got another missile on me. So who is it here? So far it's just the C2 Herc. Oh, there it is. So Origin 325A. Okay, so drop a couple more flares here. Stay in a defensive pattern, wait for him to come by. We can look at right there, we got the visual trail so we can see where he is. We don't need to worry about targeting him. Now he's in range. He's pretty much out of missiles now. We want to look. There he is, pick up visual again. I think target him, use our bottom thrusters, right? Rotate in. Here we go, nice and close. Stay on target. Rotate our bottom thrusters around the edge of his curve. Stay on target as best you can. There's the splash. All right, so let's talk momentum canceling. So I wanted you to watch both of those fights and kind of digest the information as you saw it. And hopefully these pictures will better illustrate what was actually happening. So if you'll notice, the blue arrow represents the strafe direction that's being applied. Again, we want to use our bottom thrusters. So the orientation of the Vanguard is correct in this sense. But here's the point I want to drive home. That arrow 
is pushing hard to get position on my on my vanguard and what's happening is as he's trying to push around i'm also without using any forward throttle because right now i don't want to close my distance i like the distance i'm at but i'm disallowing him from trying to get around me and by doing that i'm stopping his ability to win the raid fight because i'm canceling his momentum direction with my own momentum direction this allows us to basically fight on an even plane and it allows a ship with a poor turn rate to still maintain guns on target because relative to him we're basically standing still because i've canceled all his momentum with my own so it's as if we're nose to nose and neither of us are moving which means it's very easy for me to maintain gun target time now if the worst should happen and the enemy does close the distance against you don't panic don't start slamming your reverse strafe because you might have built up so much tremendous amounts of speed it's going to take you quite a long time to get yourself in a position to fight again so what we're going to do is we're going to roll we're going to rotate 180 degrees and we're going to flip upside down on him and we're going to continue to strafe up but now we're going to push our nose down onto the target instead of pulling our nose up so as he crests towards my turn rate maximum and I just can't yeah tracking tracking uh, I can't I can't hit him anymore we're gonna flip upside down 180 degrees relative to his direction and we're now gonna start pitching our nose down and we're gonna flip the the turn fight upside down on him this will take our circle fight into a more oval pattern what this is gonna allow us to do is we're gonna create distance not from reverse strafe but from our bottom thrusters because in order for him to close the distance again that arrow is going to have to cancel his memo like he's going to have to cancel all his motion and do nothing but drive straight towards me which is going to get him it's going to throw him for a loop and you will create enough distance to at least have another chance to do another run on him what happens now is what you see here is a complete reset of the fight we're back to the ranges that we wanted. We've, we're back to canceling our motion against him. And we're back into doing gun runs. In a heavy fighter, you're going to win that trade every single time. You have so many more hit points and you have so much more gun power than the light fighters. If you can master this technique, folks, if you can cancel their motion and their momentum with your own. And don't panic when they get too close. Just stay cool. Keep motion moving. Keep yourself getting on target. Flip that 180 degrees and push your nose down back on. You're going to win your fights. Managing small targets is a big skill when it comes to using the big ships. It's what I see a lot of times in the Persistent Universe is large pilot players simply don't know how to manage their ships. And when you have a small ship get too close to you, things get bad. Please fly with a gunner if you are flying a Vanguard because it really does augment the ship really well. I hope this video was educational. I hope to see all of you out for the stream. I was Avenge1. Please like, share, and subscribe if you feel like this content is worth watching and sharing to other people. And I'll see you next time.